It is dawn. The sun is conquering the sky, and my grandmother and I are heaving prayers at the horizon. Show me something unbeautiful, she says. Show it to me. And I will show you that there is a veil over your eyes and take it away. And you will see Jean all around you and inside of you. This morning, my grandmother is teaching me the meaning of Jean. Although there is no direct translation from Dene Bizad, the Navajo language, into English, every living being knows what Honjon means. For Honjon is in every drop of rain. It is in every leaf on every tree. It is in your every eyelash. It is every feather on the bluebird's wing. Honjon is undeniable beauty. And my grandmother, she knows this well, for she speaks a language that grew up out of the desert floors like red sandstone monoliths, like the arms of the earth reaching into the sky and praising creation for all of its brilliance. Jean is remembering that you are a part of this brilliance. It is finally accepting that yes, you are a sacred song that brings the Diyin Dene'e, the gods, to their knees in an almost unbearable ecstasy. Jean is remembering your own beauty. And my grandmother knew she knows this well, for she speaks the language of a Luka Chukai snowstorm. She speaks the language of hooves hitting the earth on birthdays. For my grandmother, she was a midwife and is fluent in the language of suffering mothers, fluent in the language of joyful mothers, fluent in the language of handing a glowing newborn to their creator. Jean is an experience, she says, but it is not something you can experience on your own, the eagles tell us, as they lock talons in the stratosphere and fall to the earth as one. Jean is inter-beauty. And my grandmother knows this well, for she speaks the language of the male rain, which shoots lightning boys through the sky, pummels the green corn children, and huddles the horses against the cliff sides in the early afternoon. She also speaks the language of the female rain which sends the scent of dust and sage into our homes and shoots rainbows out of and into the earth. Astene, we know what Hojan means. And each and every one of you listening knows what Hojan means. And deep down inside, we know what Hojan does not mean. Like the days we walk in sadness, like the days we live for money, like the days that we live for fame, or like the day that the Spaniards came, climbed down from their horses and asked us if they could buy the mountains. Now, we knew this was not Jean, but we knew we could make it Jean once again. So we took their silver coins and we took their silver swords and we melted them with fire and buffalo hide bellows and recast them into squash blossom turquoise and silver jewelry pieces and strung them around their necks. We took the silver helmets straight off of the conquistador's head and transformed it into a fearless beauty, Jean is the healing of broken bones. Jean is the prayer that carried our people through genocide and disease. Jean is the prayer that will carry our people through global warming, through this global fear that has set our souls on fire.
This morning, my grandmother is teaching me something very important. She's teaching me that the easiest and most elegant way to defeat an army of hatred is to sing it beautiful songs until it falls to its knees and surrenders. It will do this, she says. It will do this because it has finally found a sweeter fire than revenge. It has found Hojan. It has found heaven. And so this morning, my grandmother is talking to the colors of the sky at dawn. Which means beauty is restored again. It is dawn, my friend. Wake up. The night is over.